I'm with uh, David Bratby, who painted the murals of the Elephant and Castle roundabout subways. Uh, hello, David. Hello. So, wh- where are we standing at the moment? Well, we're standing in a subway underneath at the Elephant Castle, uh, and, uh, and this one was the first one we painted, and it's of a carnival, Rio, Rio de Janeiro. De Janeiro. It's um, the Rio Count Carnival. They wanted something bright and cheery, mm-hmm. and uh, the, which reflected the culture of the area. I see. Which this does. And it's a festival right the way down this subway. Is, yes. it, is it all Rio that we're looking at? No, it starts, this half is Rio. Then they commissioned me to do the next half, mm-hmm. and that turns into festivals uh, on uh, uh, different parts of the world. Okay. I noticed this one is straight, scratched up a bit. That, um, it's a bit disfigured. But how do you feel seeing them more than 20 years on? Well, they're, they're all in really good condition. They're all really light. Uh, that's what I tried to do, is use light colours for them. So they're bright, and they're, as you can see, these are kind of um, uh, fluorescent colours. Mm. So they're, they reflect the light very strongly. Oh, th- this one's an Indian festival. Uh, I must admit, this um, is in India. So, um, although there would have been lots of in- many Indian people living here, the festival itself is in India, mm-hmm. whereas this one uh, reflects more of, um, of the sort of culture that goes on in the Elephant Castle. They, this this dragon was was in somebody's garage. The local um, Chinese organisation had this dragon, and obviously these, this background here is is of the country itself. Okay. And when you were designing these, I think it's Sumatra. Did you did you have to draw sketches first and get them approved by people? Yeah. Or, and and what was that process like? Um, well, the first the first initial one was a competition. They put it out to competition with me and some other other art groups, mm-hmm. and um, they, they liked my one because I think it was just much more direct. It was um, bright and colourful and of a carnival. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Well, here's my name. This this is. This is been put up recently. I never, I never saw this before. I'm called David Bratt. So it's not actually your name, is it? No, it's got a B in it. So it's David Bratt B. There we are. <laughs> so th- this one is. Um, I'm not quite. Sh- pardon me if I get things wrong. I think this was in Southwark Park, and you can see it's this um, open air festival. Arts, their arts and events did lots of different things. And uh, this is another one. And this, this of course, is the it's a dragon you see uh-huh. from this lo- the local um, Chinese association. Now, there's a sign at the bottom here. So that's saying Southwark Fair 1991. Yeah. So, oh yeah, that that does make things easier, doesn't it? So that was Southwark. So there's this estate that's quite um, severe looking. Yeah, the, the gardens are all lovely and lush. Yeah, it's just around the corner from here. Yeah. It's not damaged at all. It's just a tiny bit down there where it looks like trolleys and stuff have gone past here. You painted a rat, I see. Yeah. What was the inspiration? The real rats. <laughs> Did you see some down here? I'm um, sure we did, I can't remember now, but <laughs> we did. So where are we here? We look, we're in Shakespeare's land of some kind. That looks like Steve Wright, the DJ. Is that intentional? Um, no. This is the George Inn, which is just down the road. Incredible building. So they're um, doing a, a, a Shakespearean play there. I see, and on the other side, you've got more of the same. Although, let me just. Um, oh, little Dorrit, so it's another. Down in the. Down in the gutter. 
for science. So this is now 1993 you were painting it. Was this the, uh, the third set? Yeah. Now the, the, the um, Elephant Castle, as you probably know from your history, used to be the entertainment centre of London. That's where people used to come and dance in uh, these big musicals with uh, those ro rotating orbs with mirrors in them. And it was, a t it, it was a place to be. And so, and the Trocadero was the uh, epicentre of it all. And on this side, one of the scenes that I know a lot of people talk about, we've got a lot of docks. Surrey docks. So these are the docks now known as Surrey Keys. Um, yeah, I suppose so. Long gone, the working yeah. industry. And but not that long ago, you see. It's 1960. It's, um, it's full, uh, fully working. Can you explain what this elephant is doing? Well, I, I had a, a, a book of... Um, nostalgic photographs and there was one where they were winching this elephant off it looked uh, very visu visual uh -huh. um, and did, that was happening in the Surrey docks was it? yeah so this is an historic okay. moment being captured in paint I think so, there's a lot of artistic license you get <laughs> <laughs> what have you found here? no, no that's just paper Somebody's just stuck paper. Okay. But that's just the so that'll all wash off. That's fine. All those tide marks in the other they'll wash they'll wash out. There's just various bits where it's it's come off. But um uh, I don't want to shift the blame, but that's because of the council's initial coating. They put an epoxy resin coating on the wall for me to paint on. And that's what's come off. My paint hasn't come off anything. No. Quality job. And you were saying earlier how you had a contract with Rowley the council acrylics. to uh, to come back and touch it up from yes. time to time. So I could go and try and find that, that contract and do it again. No, there, yeah. there must be, there's another, there must be more. There's another picture like that. Yeah, there's more just around the corner. Oh, here it is, here it is. So, th this is a local flat in here. It's exactly, well, not quite exactly. Oh, you got a local home. It's somebody's flat. And they kept all of their, um, they're a fairly elderly person. They kept all of their um, furniture and um, equipment like home entertainment. This is an old radio, of course, and uh, di different um, uh, drawers. And there's a record player from that time. <coughs> See, this again is just a bit of paper somebody's stuck on. And an old sewing machine she has. But this is this is an actual flat that's close by, and a lampstand. Can you well, reveal where the flat is? No, no, she, she um, made me swear to silence. But it's actually quite important that we repaint these because um, it's an expression of racism mm. and uh, you don't want it to remain. Yeah, that's the second black person who we've seen their faces scratched out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the council was supposed to pay me to, um, to um, come and repair it, so yeah. maybe I'll. I'll um, because I don't like leaving it like that. No. Okay. Now, around the corner from here are some very exotic scenes that I have never fully understood what they have to do with the elephant and castle. So here we have the eruption of Mount Vesuvius and the siege of Gibraltar. What's it all about? This was... Um this is uh, the, these um, enactments they used to do in Victorian times. So, um, because people didn't travel so much, the, the explorers used to come back with all these stories. 
and um, uh, in in um, in some local palace, they would enact these these scenes. So you'd go along, and it was um, it was almost the same as going to the, to the cinema. It's, um, yeah, it's at the Surrey Zoological Garden. So they've got a lake there. And this would all happen on the other side of the lake. I can see. see um, so well, there's the Siege of Gibraltar, which was an historic act. It's being reenacted at yeah. the Surrey Zoological Gardens That's in the right. 1840s. That's right. And now reenacted again in the 1990s. No, well, my picture well, reenacted. Because of your yeah. painting in 92 here. Yeah, yeah. And these guys in the jeans, they're, they're contemporary to your painting. Well, they are, yes, but they, um, they would have been wearing historical garments at the time. Yeah. But I. I, I I didn't see. I didn't see the point in actually fortifying their clothes because these are local local people. Yeah. And they would have been local people in the at the time. Yeah. So these these people here are. Um, these people are all dressed up actually. So these two chaps here are they're local. They're modern. They are they're actual people. Oh, okay. So these are do you do you remember who these men were? I can't remember. It's terrible, isn't it? It was 40 years ago. No, it wasn't 40 years ago. It was 20 years ago. Any local councillors immortalised on the murals, perhaps? I can't even remember that. I can't remember. I'm looking at these faces, wondering if they were the ones who signed off your concept. I don't know. I think he was the clerk of work for the engineering department. Okay. The Leonardo, well, they're the Medici's of their day then, with you being the. That's right, yes. And over here, similarly, modern people dressed up. They are. Reenacting the moment Mount Vesuvius erupted. Yeah. There's a kind of ravey vibe coming off these to me, an early 90s sort of psychedelia. Is that, was that a scene you were part of in your 30s? No. <laughs> so, David, we're, we're heading to the next set of murals. Can you remember how many you've done down here, or is it, is it surprising you to see the volume of work? I can't remember any... Um, I do remember... Sorry. It's not a Kit Kat. <laughs> I do remember... Um, this chess game now. Now you reminded me. Oh, right, it was just a little bit. oh yeah, I think it sort of went a bit free for all by this time. A, a, a free for all. What, what do you mean by that? Well, the the, the theme, the um, progression. It went from. Oh no, this is still historical, isn't it? Because. Um, Vincent van Gogh, this is his cafe scene, lived close by. So what, there's a connection between van Gogh and the elephant in castle? Yeah. In, well, he lived in Kenyon, oh, oh, there we go, there's your inscription. So Vincent van Gogh lived at Ivy Cottage, 395 Kennington Road in 1874. Is yeah. van Gogh or anyone else immortalised in this mural? Well, yes, this one. This is a, a this is a sort of um, it's a pastiche, a isn't pastiche it? Pastiche of his cafe scene, but yeah. it, again, it's got local people in it, and uh, that's a picture of me in the middle there. So it, this is in the blue shirt, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, I see this resemblance. Yeah, now. it's me with Miss Hirsch hair on. Wow. Do you remember who you're talking to there? Um, it might have been Henrietta who helped me with the murals. So this one's always muddled me. The human chess game, I call it. Right. What's going on? Well, it, it, it's based on a play that was at the new Surrey Theatre in 1865. And um, 
it used all these chess pieces, but that all these characters are from local people. And this, this man here, he, um, at the time, the um, Elephant Castle shopping centre was, um, has been quite innovative. They had um, what we call pop-ups now, where empty shops were given to artists and so on. And this chap here was um, in the middle of the, of the floor there, teaching, teaching dance, salsa dance. And he, he said to me, you know, I could teach you salsa dance. I, I said, I can't dance at all. And he said, yeah, I could, I could teach you. It didn't work. So where were you researching to unearth an 1865 player using chess pieces? It sounds quite random. Uh, well, that would have been in the library, local library. But what are you didn't doing? didn't have internet cafes. No, then. but you, it sounds like you're, you're going there and just opening books up at random pages. <laughs> what were you looking for? Well, it's got a, it's got a progression from the beginning, so it went through all different sort of historical aspects. Uh, I think the last thing you saw was like work, so the um, work and um, and um, and, um, and the social life that you would have had after work, so the, 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 the docks and then um, the nightlife. And then, then, then I started going back in time, so then you've got um, the Dickensian stories and plays. So this is this is in that kind of vein really. So this this one here is, is Charlie Chaplin. Um, he lived in some different places. And this is a Charlie Chaplin sketch. And again with, with local people in it again. So you recreated scenes from Chaplin movies. That's right. Woven them together and put Elephant of Castle residents into his role. That's right, yes. And over here and, we've, and other people. we've got some people dressed up as Charlie Chaplin and a lot of slapstick going on. Yeah. Who is the woman with the wonderful I think cake? She was from a local cake shop. I think they are local cakes. It'd be great to track these people down, wouldn't it? A great reunion. Recreate these scenes in 3D. Well, Real life. You could, you could actually, you could send out a, um, a communique, couldn't you? Saying the um, the artists has just didn't work, didn't keep their addresses or their names. And uh, could you come forward? Yeah. William Hogarth, of course. Uh, painted scenes from Southern. And this is a, um, a passage of, of one of his pictures with, with um, contemporary people in it. I think some would say it's very much like Hogarth's time here still. What do you think? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not quite so bad actually. I think it was worse then. People didn't live much longer before, see? So most people do now. This is in the blue shirt. I'm, I'm so how many David Bratbys are down here? Well, there must be four. Four? Okay. We've seen two, I think. So I'm going to be looking out for some more. We've seen two in this tunnel. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's three in this tunnel, aren't there? There's one, two, three. I don't know, that doesn't look like acrylic paint to me. Looks like household paint. So we're in a section of the subways with murals that you didn't paint. No. What's the story behind these that you recall? Well, the, the, the art, there was an artist before me who, who um, painted some, but she wasn't treated very well by the other contractors down, down, down here. Mm. In fact, they made her life a misery. So she um, she said, I'm not painting them anymore. Yeah. And then they put it out to competition to do the rest of it. I see. So we must try and track her down. Yes, yeah.
it's, it's odd that there's not a little plaque saying her name as no. well. No, I, I didn't realise anyone else had painted them until just now. Yeah. There is no plaque that I've seen. But the style is very different. It's, it's uh, less vibrant, more sort of pictorial, painterly. painterly. Yes. We're standing here beneath the uh, main road where half the light bulbs are not working and the artwork's pretty dark. But you see, children like these animals. 